there were quite a few lecture notes on 801 but most of them are not so very important because I showed them during my lectures as overhead transparencies. Let's see whether any of these, yeah, this is the famous <laughs> demonstrations of the femurs. My first lecture. So this was shown in class. during the lecture. So that was lecture number one. Mm, lecture number five. Yeah, this was shown in class, of course. So you will see that in my videos. What else do we have? Resistive force on spheres. Yeah, that was clearly part <coughs> of my overheads. So that was lecture 12. Wow, there were quite a few lecture notes on uh, lecture 12. Take a quick look at this. Steel bearings, ball bearings, also same lecture it's shown during my lectures. All lecture 12, falling balloon. This was calculated by my graduate student Dave Pooley. Lecture 12, all of this was shown during the lecture. And a falling pebble, also calculated by Dave Pooley. Okay, well, escape velocities, let me take a look. No, this is not escape. Is it escape? No, I don't think so. Oh, this has power consumption, energy consumption. Interesting. The world, at the time that there were six billion people, right now there are more than seven billion. So that was lecture 14. The rocket equations were shown in class from Tipler, the book of Tipler. And these were handed out to students, I think. But of course, I couldn't show all this during the lecture. So this is a handout that may be of interest to you. A lecture notes. So 
So that was lecture 17. Lecture 19. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, I remember I showed that as an overhead. So this should all be during my lecture. You can all see this in the videos of my lectures. Ooh, an X-ray image of the Crab Nebula. Chandra, I don't even remember how that fit into my lectures. Where are we? Flywheels? Okay. Lecture 22, notes on Kepler orbits. Oh, this is a very important handout. Very important. So I'll show it to you. Of course, I covered this in my lectures, but you didn't see during the lectures these lecture notes. They were handed out to students separately. That was lecture 22. These are the data that were used by Kepler. And that I showed that as an overhead during the lectures. Lecture 23, Doppler effects of inclination of binary systems. I handed that out. I couldn't have shown this in class. That was lecture 23. Lecture 24, I remember how hard I worked on this. Very non-intuitive lecture. Gyroscopes. So that was lecture 24, lecture 25, conversion from linear to rotational motion, that of course is rather trivial, and I'm sure I showed that in class as an overhead. So that was lecture 25. Lecture 26, I must have shown that too, as an overhead projection of a transparency. I never worked with PowerPoint. And then ideal gas law. Important comments on phase transitions. Again, I must have handed this out to students because I couldn't have shown this text. During class. Empty pages. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Empty pages. Comments on phase transitions. That is then my last handout 
all the face transitions. Oh no, I just showed that already. <laughs> One with the empty pages. Okay, so we were done. Did I show the ideal gas law? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, so you've seen the most important lecture handouts. Enjoy them. That was 801.